What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope everyone's having a blessed day today. You know what? Today, we're going to get right into it because it's late. I was supposed to do this earlier. It's already 5 o'clock. And the videos I've been seeing, they've been saying it's going to take two hours. And you know me, it's going to take a good five. So let's just get straight to it. All right, y'all. We got two things to open. So the first thing we're opening is going So these are both from BRSF. Always come with some stickers. So the first thing is the turbo outlet. Right? Turbo outlet. Yeah. So this piece, this piece connects to the intercooler. So It'll be on this side, which is the passenger side. And it comes with clamps and an O ring. So, got that? So, this helps with like cool. So, it's less, it's less constricted. You got that? And then the big box. First thing you want to do is get under the car. Oh. Remove all these bolts. As you can see, I already removed all the bolts, so I can just undo this. Let me do this. So that's your inner cooler right here and there is a screw right here that you gotta unbolt there's one on the other side and then i think it's just these clips to remove and then you should be good so the bolts around there 
It's probably like 10 bolts. I did it a while ago because I was supposed to do this a while ago. I ended up didn't doing it, but yeah. This and then with that bolt go? And that bolt. And the same thing on the other side. I hope y'all can see, but this is the other bolt right here. T27, I think it's a T27. That bolt, it's like right here. These tabs, all you gotta do is push down on this. Oh, tab right there. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Go do it on this one. You just pull down and then turn it over. Cool. And this direction. Ooh, some rocks. Okay, so it looks like it wants to come out. We gotta undo this on each side. So we're just gonna flat head, just take these out and it should come right out. And keep this because I think we have to reuse these. So got that first one. my turbo outlet which is let me can see from here where's that it oh it's right here this little part right here the light shining or the silver right there so I want to access that no that's not it no it might be we'll see what bro what are you talking about man I think it is it. Yeah, it is, because the inner closure right there. So I have to take off um, this right here, which is the intake so I can access the turbo outlet. Um, and to do that, I'm just gonna do it really quick. You gotta undo that screw and then take off the beauty cover, unscrew, I mean, undo this right here. And there's a screw right there, down there. And that should be it. Let's also, let me undo this real quick. There's also a screw right here that you have to undo. All right, so we took off everything right here. Um, I even took out the, the inlet. So if you see my previous video, bad news with that stuff, but um, this is the turbo outlet. So usually you'll see in other videos, people don't replace this. They leave the OEM one and then they have to cut, let's focus. They have to cut a silver part down there. So they have to cut like one of these rings with a Dremel. I don't have all that, so I just bought the outlet. And it's better to upgrade anyway, because that's plastic and this is aluminum. So it's better airflow and it'll last way longer. So all you have to do to take that out is undo the ring right there. That thing right there. With a flat head, and it should all come out in one piece with is this connected? Oh, this hose is connected to it. I 
I think you can just pull it out. Let me see. So with this hose that's connected to the outlet, there's a clamp in the back that you guys can see right there. You can just undo that with a pick tool. And you can just undo this. And then it should all come out after I take that out and pull it out from the bottom. So I got it out. So it's going to be all loose now. So it's just the, this clamp right here that was holding onto this pipe or this hose. And then I undid this. So it's pretty loose now. It should all come out in one piece. All right, so this piece should come right out. Careful, it's a lot of dust and stuff. Got this part out, throw it to the side. Gotta reuse that. And this should just come right out. Yeah. I gotta use both hands for this. Pause. That's what she said. <sighs> So it came out. Oh. So usually people would have to dremel this if you don't have the new outlet. So this is gonna replace that on the new intercooler. Intercooler out. And just see how small that is compared to the new one. Let's just do a comparison how much bigger this drone is to better that one. So this is obviously, and it's made out of different material. Like this material is gonna last for sure. And it's better cooling. And we can push up to, it says 550 horsepower using this without overheating. And it's just way bigger. Way wider. Has the same like clamps like facing up, and this one's kind of facing a certain way. So other art aftermarket intercoolers um, aren't really as good as VRSF, and for the price, you can't beat it. So um, it has the extra hump right here, extra little step. It's like it's even taller than like this one. Like this whole setup right here is taller. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get this up in there. But first, we have to connect all the all this to the charge pipe. So this is gonna connect to the charge pipe and then connect to the intercooler. So I gotta get all the clamps ready and everything like that. But I think we're gonna do it tomorrow because it's kind of getting late. And I can't really see much without using a flashlight. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. But that's how you take out the inner cooler and the outlet. All right, y'all, brand new day. So now we're gonna undo You're gonna undo this part. So we're gonna undo this clamp right here. Two, and this is the charge pipe that I did in like one of my first videos. So we gotta undo this clamp and then take this plastic hose off and then replace it with the aluminum one that we have. So all you do is undo the screw right here and then it should pop off. Okay, so we're almost done. Um, got the charge pipe on. So, we got the new pipe in. So make sure you're using the right clamp. So this is a bigger clamp than this one. I just reused the clamps that I had from the charge pipe, but it does come with extra clamps. If you don't have a charge pipe, if you're just replacing this pipe with the intercooler. And then I got the outlet in. All I did was use some grease. So I bought this grease from, what is it called? What is that place? Uh... Hang in there, Squidward. It's all part of the job. AutoZone. 
and I just looped it up a little bit, stuck it on there, got the clamp on there, and the hose, and we're all good, we're Gucci. I decided to take all that off because I thought this is kind of loose, but I think it's just like that. I can't remember, but I think it's like that. Let's check under the car quick. So we got this hose in. And make sure you're, um, when you tighten it down, you have an angle to get the screw on so that side and that side. Um, fitting's all good. So all we gotta do is put that bad boy on. And you probably wanna use the jack because it is heavy. So probably wanna jack it up and then Make sure you have the clamps on there at the ends. And just clamp it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, we're almost there. So I'm just gotta put the couplings on. I got it all jacked up right here. So the only thing I'm working with is getting these couplings on. They're kind of hard to get around it. But I'm working on it. Boy, my thumbs hurt. Keep sneezing. This life ain't for the weak. Oh! Somebody! Oh! He needs oh. some milk! Yeah, I'm going through it right now. It's cool. It's cool. I'm gonna get it done though. That's a fact. Oh, we almost done. Last lap. I can see the finish line. About to get that maybe bronze medal, but it's cool. I'm still getting a medal. You not. Mm. All right, y'all, we pretty much done. We got that outlet in. Got the clamps on there, down there. That actually wasn't that bad. It kind of looks like it's not on all the way, but it is. It's like an extra little piece right there. Let me see if I can touch it. So back here, it kind of looks like it's off, but it's actually all the way on. It's just like a little hump right there. But the outlet's all the way on. Put the clamp on there. Put the clamp down there. This right here took forever. This clamp, so on this side, I was able to leave the clamp on the outlet and then shove the intercooler in the, uh, the hose right here. But this side have the clamp on the intercooler and then push it into this piece and opposite for the other side. And then you tighten it down, make sure your bolts or where you can get it and tighten it. Let's go under the car. Ugh. So under the car, everything's good under there. Got a few scratches down here because of that, but that doesn't matter. No one's gonna see that. Get the screws, just put it in. Everything's good. Hang up that computer call. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. I'm feeling romantical. So now I'm gonna put the beauty cover back on and put all of the inlet and everything back on. Then we should be Gucci. Also, you don't have to put this cover back on. It doesn't fit anyways under the car. It doesn't do anything. I think it's just like a dust cover. But yeah, we are good. So, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. And when I drove it, it drove fine. It, I don't know if it was just me, it kind of feels heavy in the front end, but it's probably just me. But it drove fine, sounds good. No codes or anything, so. And then I felt all around, no extra like air coming out where it shouldn't be. So here's what it looks like. There she goes. 
right there. And honestly, I didn't put the BRSF because I'm getting a new bumper and it's gonna actually show more. Because this bumper, it's not that big right here. And the, the new bumper is like way bigger, so you'll see the intercooler more and then I'll spray paint it because I'm gonna just take this whole bumper off. But yeah. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We only got like two more bolt-ons to do. So I need to get a turbo inlet again. So a different one. And a catless downpipe. And then that's pretty much like all the bolt-ons before we push extra power. So we're trying to get to like 400, 450 horsepower. So yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go, go, go